Hello guys, in this video we'll learn how to generate open API Swagger definition for our REST endpoints in Rust. We'll also see how can we render our open API definition using Swagger UI. So let's get started. Now if you have been following this series, you already know that I've been using Axiom for our REST endpoints. So I just added a bunch of uh, REST endpoints which is get data by ID and then we have uh, receive data and we'll be adding Swagger definition for these. So let's go to our cargo terminal file, attribute dependencies to get started. So first of all, we'll be using Utoepa and here we'll say version as latest and features as Axiom extras. Similarly, for Utoepa Swagger UI, we'll be using version as latest and features as Axiom because we use Axiom. Now, if you are using any other library for your REST endpoints, then Toyota also supports for that. So I'll be dropping the uh, documentation in the description so you can check out. Now let's go ahead and build it. Once this is built, let's get back to our main. And here, first of all, on all the models that you have, you have to add two schema on the top as the attribute to allow converting to schemas. And now we'll add a struct. We'll call it API doc and here we have to add a drive which is open api and then we have to add open api paths and the first path that we have is the handler get data by id second handler we have receive data and once the paths is done we have to add components inside the components we'll add schema and inside the schema currently we have only one schema which is person if you have multiple models you can add but make sure to add two schema on the top first so we added for person and that's it that we want to add actually here and now let's go down to our router here we have to add merge swagger ui new and the path so let's say slash swagger and after that you have to add url api docs open api dot json and api doc the the one that we created above the struct and then open api so this is what we have to add here and now we have to add some attribute on top of our uh, handlers for more description about our endpoints so let's go ahead and add it so here for get data by id we have to say you toypa path and inside first of all we have to add our method which is get and then after get we have the path which is So for this the path is slash data slash id slash data slash id after that we have params so in the params we have id and id is of type u32 path and description unique identifier for data or of data whatever you want to call it and once we add this after the params we will add our response because there is no body for this so we'll say responses inside the responses we will add uh, status code as 200 body as person uh, actually this returns what okay it just returns json of person and then the description is person object as json 
so here we have to fix it identifier let's fix the typo okay so similarly we have to add for uh, the second one so let me pause and add and show you guys okay so similarly uh, for get and uh, here is it's for post slash receive because the path is slash receive and then we have our request body as person as you can see and then we have our responses but here we have couple of responses one is 200 okay another is 500 and there you go so this all is what you have to add on top of your handlers and once this whole is done we'll just open our terminal and do cargo run dash dash white Once our app starts listening, as you can see in the terminal, move to your favorite browser. So I'll be using Chrome. So move to Chrome and just do localhost your port and slash swagger. And there you go. As you can see, we have our swagger definition. We have for data by ID. Here we have uh, ID and here we have the description which we provided and the response. And as you can see, it also shows the schema that what you can expect in the response. Similarly, for our second endpoint, which is receive as you can see it says you have to pass a body and there are two kinds of responses expected so this is how guys you can add your swagger definition and just see in the swagger ui as well i hope you guys understand the concept if you do like this video subscribe to the channel i'll catch you guys in the next video with another interesting topic and i'll also drop all the uh, documentation in the description thank you for watching